360 degree photo is known as panorama photography. It's very immersive, like the real world. A slit camera, rotated 360 degree, can expose seamless image around the camera in 2D. That is known as traditional panorama photography. This is a way to get 2D 360 photo by using standard camera, shot several times. After shooting, you can stitch the several images with a stitch software to get 360 degree panorama photo. It works well, but it's in 2D. Okay, how to get in 3D? There is a paper written by Paul Bach titled Synthetic Stereoscopic Panoramic Images. It shows two slit cameras rotating 360 degree to get seamless panorama stereoscopic left and right images. This is a model of the camera in that paper. It takes 3D 360 photo by rotating 360 degree. The camera is able to work for still photography. The next step, of course, for shooting movie. This is one of the setup for 3D 360 movies using 8 cameras. It has 4 pair of stereo cameras that is clearly understandable. 360 image for left eye is stitched with each image from all left cameras. Also 360 image for right eye is stitched with each image from all right cameras. Then we can get 360 image in 3D. However, in this setup, alignment errors are easily occurred on my experience because left and right images are not relation. Left image is stitched with only four left cameras and right image is stitched with only four right cameras. This is a setup I have been using to reduce the alignment errors. Eight GoPro cameras are installed on the rig radially. The left images are from the right half photo by each camera. And the right image are from the left half photo by each camera. Then stitch both of left and right images by same parameter calculated using all images. This method can reduce misalignment such as vertical errors. It is good for three images. Okay, I'll show you uh, my GoPro rigs. Uh, this is the carry bag. Okay, let's open it. Yay, many GoPro cameras here. Uh, okay. Uh, this is a uh, rig for 3D, 360, and by using eight GoPro cameras. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, on this rig, all normal ca um, all camera are normal, uh, no special. Okay, made from wood. Yes, cheaper than metal. <laughs> and, and this is Wi-Fi controller, remote controller, uh, to turn and to turn off and uh, start and stop all cameras at the same time. Okay. And uh, uh, this is a bubble for keeping horizontal level. Important for 3D. Okay. And on the back side, uh, there is a hole hmm, for a tripod. Okay. Also, uh, this is a uh, another rig for using six GoPros and it works well for a subject moving slowly yeah okay many batteries here and spare cameras uh, to fix it soon if it has a problem okay okay last camera so here Now, ready for shooting. 3D 360 video. Okay, turn on the cameras using Wi-Fi remote controller. Push the button. Now communicate between all cameras and remote controller to turn on the camera. Okay. Ah, uh, six camera. Okay, now eight camera is ready for shooting. Okay, push the red button to record, start recording. Okay, let's go. Yay! Now, uh, recording all cameras. But, uh, the camera 
uh, doesn't have uh, galaxy signals to for uh, for perfect synchronization. So I made this type of ring light using LED. Okay, like this. That light uh, is uh, to help synchronization uh, or videos when I edit videos. Okay, ready for dancing, uh, singing, acting around the camera. Okay, cut it. Okay, push the red button again to stop the cameras. You get it? Okay, next I'll show you several 3D 360 video samples. However, showing it on the square screen is a bit nonsense. I hope to show it on a circle or a dome theater or a VR glasses if I have a chance. This is an original frame after stitching 8 GoPro cameras. The differences in the boundaries between left and right images cause some flickering. Also, you can see some stitching errors at the near subject. Okay, let's watch and check it. Oh, sorry for the near subject, but this circle LED lamps help to sync the videos of 8 GoPro cameras on the edit process. Okay, time to say goodbye to the cameras, and then I have to disappear behind the subject. You can find several stitching lines that result from different exposure of each camera. Also, you can see some errors of sync at the flapping bird wings. Each GoPro camera's run free without sync causes the problems. But I'd like to show you uh, the worst example at first in order to know the limits by using GoPro cameras. But even if there is such problems, recording 3D 360 will be very fascinating. You can see an angle of your attention selectively by using a VR viewer or on a circle theater. Okay, I appear again to say hello to the cameras and stop recording. This is another example. The scene of ferry boat departing from a small bay. The camera is recording 360 degree at the same time, so you can see the man on the wharf and the man on the ferry boat waving their hands. On this video, you can see several stitching lines again by the different exposure of each GoPro cameras. However, this problem will decrease and get better results by using newest version of the stitching software. I'm sorry, I cannot make it for this show. Yeah, next time, it will be better. Then please enjoy cruising for a while. This last example is a 3D 360 music video of a Japanese idol group Parts Each Monsters. Yes, it should be the video you guys want to see.
し遂げるには挑み続けるしかない」This is a Google Cardboard Viewer. Six months later, I made a small rig with four of GoPro cameras and fish eye lenses. This is me and the rig shooting at a park. The rig consists of four GoPro cameras and fish eye lenses. Each camera shoots over 180 degrees. Left and right images for stereoscopic are from naval lenses. As you can see, 3D 360 images will be able to be built with four fish eye lenses. The left one is a 3D 360 video that stitched all images taken with. That rig, and the right one shows how to shoot it. Yes, it's me and the camera on the pole. You can see the point of view of the 360 video is now changing slightly. Thank you for watching.